Hey guys, I just wanted to do a really quick video of how I keep my feeder crickets. And the animal that I have that eats feeder crickets is my tegu, my black and white Argentine tegu maddox. And uh, actually, it's kind of weird, but every now and then my rats, I'll give them a couple, and they love them. They also love superworms and mealworms. Um, they're very weird. Uh, I, I know that rats like eat that kind of stuff, like insects in the wild, but I didn't know that they would like them that much. So basically, I just took my little 10-gallon um, tank, and I wiped it out, you know, used my little Lysol, and then rinsed back over it. This is the first time I'm actually using this kind of bedding. This is like some sort of rodent bedding that I got so long ago, and it's terrible for rats and ferrets, so I don't use it like that. It doesn't do good with our upper respiratory um, systems. So I've had it laying around forever, so I figured I would try to use it since, I mean, I'm not cheap, but I'm definitely, like, I hate throwing my money away. So, hi Coco, what are you doing, nosy? Why do you get to be nosy all the time, huh? I know. Okay, sit down, bub. Come here. Lay down. Lay down. So anyway, um, I put that bedding on here. Hopefully it'll work. I mean, as long as it... The big thing with crickets that I've found is that you have to keep them dry. Um, so, for instance, their little water, I cut out a little piece of sponge and, you know, just kind of saturated it with water and that little, um, and also the thing that's in the little container is just like a little plastic Dixie cup thing that I cut and I taped it to the bottom. I taped this, the green dish to the bottom. I left this untaped because I'm going to be, you know, taking it out and washing it and refilling it. That, um, dusty powdery stuff, the thing with the smiley face in it is a uh, cricket gut load and then there's a few dog kibbles and ferret kibbles or cat kibbles on the outside because I know crickets like to eat you know a wide variety of things and then over here on this little green dish we have some chopped up minced apples and carrots I found that crickets really like that and it adds um, really good moisture I need to um, actually I don't know why I haven't done this but that cricket um, gel stuff that like uh, keeps them hydrated it, it like soaks in water and you don't have to worry about you know spilling water or the cage being too wet to where your crickets die I need to get some of that stuff but I just haven't yet so underneath I have like you know little paper towels and things like that just to kind of clean up some of the mess when I go to clean the cage out so I can take it all in one piece and then like I said I put that um, pine bedding or it's not pine but it's like shavings Put that down. Um, I recycled this little dessert thing that my fiance was eating. Um, then I, these are just, you know, egg cartons. Obviously, everybody that keeps crickets or breeds crickets, they know that they love those. Here's a little um, paper towel roll, and there's another egg piece, uh, piece of the egg carton, and that's pretty much it. Um, you know, I always make sure that the sponge is moist, and then I always make sure that they have food. And I mean, fruits and vegetables aren't a must, but I definitely think that it, you know, makes them a little healthier for the animal that you'll be feeding and it keeps moisture in them so they don't get dehydrated. And also, I put this little screen, um, I have another 10 gallon with a screen um, that slides in like right here, so I just slide it in, click it in and it locks, but that one, um, it's actually funny because I go through this tank and um, go back and forth from the other one, so when the other one's dirty, I'll put the crickets in here, clean that one, and then I just keep going back and forth. So this one, when I put the lid on, um, obviously crickets, you know, they can jump up here, some of them. And so I'll just like lay something over them. I'll put aluminum foil over this anyway, just to try to, you know, keep the heat in a little bit, because it does get a little cool in here at night. And then sometimes I'll actually even take like Maddox's little light bulb if I have him out, and I'll just put it over here or over here, just for like 15 minutes or so, and they all line up. Um, every batch of crickets I've ever had, they'll just line up right under the light. They'll bask for a little bit, and then I'll take it off, and then they'll be fine for a while. So there's not continuous light on them, but every now and then, they definitely, I can tell that they enjoy it. So, I usually put about three or four um, dozen crickets in here, the large crickets, because the first day I get them, I usually feed off a dozen of them anyway, right away. Um, usually like a dozen and a half of them to Maddox. He's eating every other day now, but... It's basically just the same as feeding him every day because instead of eating, you know, a certain amount every day, he's eating 
um, like one day plus one day in two days. So it's the same amount of food basically, just, you know, all in one lump sum. So here are the little large crickets, and they've been in this bag for hmm, probably about 20 minutes or so. So they're ready to get out. I don't want them to suffocate or anything. So there's no way, um, I don't have my little tripod in here right now, so I can't really cut the bag open and put them in their new little home um, while videotaping it. So I'm going to do that, and then I'll catch you guys back as soon as I put them in there, and I'll show you guys the crickets in their new little setup. One second. See, this is why I always get my crickets from the privately owned pet store that's literally a minute and a half away from me because, um, you know, this is definitely, the place is called Palsum, and this is definitely a Palsum three dozen because there's a little bit more than three dozen here. Come on, guys, move. And obviously you're going to have, you know, a couple casualties just because they smush each other and things like that. But what I do is, um, you know, crickets are kind of gross, um, just to be honest uh, about it, the way I feel. So when they've been in their bag for a while, you know, transporting them home from the pet store, instead of just dumping the whole bag, um, like, cause see, if I would have dumped it, I would have dumped all this nastiness. Ugh, I would have dumped all that nastiness, and nastiness excuse me, into my nice clean cage. So what I do is I obviously cut the top of it off and then I dump it but I dump it on something like this so after they all scoot off of it or whatever I can take that and just dust the top of it off in the trash so you know it just kind of keeps the cage a little bit cleaner for a little bit longer um, I always try to keep pretty I mean all my animals I always try to keep them as clean as I can but definitely crickets because they definitely um, have a stench to them let's just call it that if they're not being you know cared for the right way and you know you got to keep them sanitary because for one they'll die and two they'll stink up your whole reptile room and I'm not about that life so um, I just keep them as clean as I possibly can okay looks like a couple of them have already found the uh, water oh that one's eating the dog food the other dog food, eating some gut load. Look, they've all found the uh, fruits and veggies. The chopped apple and carrots. They are loving it. And a quick little uh, cricket fact, if you guys didn't know. I'm sure most of you guys do. Um, the way that I tell the males and the females apart. Coda, are you going to be in on this cricket lesson? Huh? Oh, let me zoom out here. Um, the way that I tell the difference between the males and the females, see like this one, the big one in the corner? That's a female because um, that is like her reproductive parts. That's where she lays her eggs out of, that little black line that's, you know, coming out of her behind. And then the males, let me find a male real quick. Even the little baby females, they have a little tiny one. Um, where did that one go? See that one? That's a little baby female, but see she already has the beginnings of her... Um, egg layer part, I guess is what you'd call it. So let's find a male. Okay, see this guy right here? See how he has none? That's a little boy. And this is a little boy too. Where'd he go? Gosh, it's hard to put the phone in here like this. Okay, that's another um, female. because She's got her little part. Okay, where are the boys at? This is a boy, right? Sorry for the jumpiness of the camera, you guys. That's a boy. See how he doesn't have any of the reproductive parts? Sorry, this is really blurry. They just have two little lightly colored, um, you know, pieces. There's two pieces coming off of the opposite sides of their behind. So that's how I tell them apart. Not like I'm separating them or trying to breed them or anything, but just a fun little tip. I thought it was interesting. But all right, guys, I'm going to put the lid on this and get these guys in a cool kind of dark corner so they can chill out for a while. I don't want to stress them out and kill them. Um, I don't know if crickets, you know, can die from being too stressed, but I don't want to, you know, I don't want to take a chance. And plus, me and Coda over here, come on, Coda, we got to go take our um, nightly jog. So we got stuff to do anyway, huh, Coda, while the, while the little crickets are getting used to their home. Truman's asleep up there in his little in his new little hammock and the rats are asleep up there too 
all their uh, little stuff and toys and hammocks are uh, being washed right now so their cage is like really empty but anyway all right guys that was my um just how i set up for my feeder crickets that i feed my tegu and i just put a bunch of little cardboard hides in there I always make sure I keep it dry. You don't want any moisture to get in there. The only thing wet you want to have is maybe some chopped fruits and veggies and, you know, a water source. All right, guys, it's kind of, it's really dark. It's nighttime, but this is um, a couple hours, probably about mm, maybe three or four hours since I showed you how I set up my cricket um, cage. And look, remember what this looked like before? They've completely demolished um, everything they drank a bunch of water out of the sponge there's I mean all the gut load um, cricket food is basically just powder and um, their fruits and vegetables their carrot and apple is you know there's a lot of it gone and also remember those dog kibbles that I had there I had like probably five or six of them like one by one around like in a circle around that little white dish um, there's only two left now, and they're nowhere to be found, so, yeah, they, um, they can definitely smash some food in a very short amount of time. Now, a lot of them are over here, under here, cleaning themselves off. They seem to be doing great on, um, this pine, sh or not, I keep saying pine, it's not pine, it's just, um, shavings. Just, like, stuff you could buy at, like, you know, just a regular local pet store. I think people keep like rabbits on this stuff or something, I don't know. It looks like the um, shavings that um, I used to use for my horse's um, stalls. But anyway, just wanted to show you guys they've demolished their food and I'll have to fill it back up tomorrow. Thanks for watching guys, bye.